We definitely like to talk about Harry and Meghan quite a bit on this channel, but I have been reading some headlines recently within the last several weeks. There's been some alleged difficulties between Prince William and Princess Kate. And so what I wanted to do today was really take a look at uh, Kate Middleton's chart and get an idea of what is she experiencing in terms of the karma and the you know planetary placements in her chart. So that's what I'm going to be looking at to today to see if this either confirms it or you know there's it there's nothing to it. But I was actually quite surprised. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Those of you that are interested in my channel, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get all of my videos when I release them. I do videos on celebrities, on the royal family, monthly predictions, even with current events and headlines. So I, I really do a lot of work on all types of astrology. So let's take a look at Princess Kate's chart. Let's, that's what we're going to look at right now. By the way, I'm going to give you a quick disclaimer. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, these are all allegedly's uh, with Prince William and Princess Kate. It's just speculation. And, you know, we really don't know what they're thinking. This is just my interpretation or opinion of the astrological in energies. So let's take a look at the chart here. One of the things I didn't bring up in my last reading about Kate Middleton was uh, looking at the moon when we're looking at a marriage relationship. So really most of our experience within a marriage is emotional, even though we tend to emphasize the social material tags, uh, you know, as, you know, as families, as a society, we tend to look at the seventh house and this will give you the social material status markers. And so if you see in princess Kate's chart, the social material indicators you know, they're quite good. You know, you got Venus there. It, it appears to be like this perfect relationship aesthetically, right? I mean, Prince William's very handsome. Princess Kate's very beautiful. It just seems like this fairy tale type of relationship. However, the emotional aspect of it's going to be looked at from the moon. And this is where we really got to look on a personal level what's going on with Princess Kate. Now, Princess Kate is a very private person. She's got her moon in the 12th house. She's definitely somebody that doesn't necessarily want to get out and do a lot of events. Um, she will because she does have a sense of duty, but she doesn't necessarily like it. If she could, she probably would like to, you know, spend a lot more time alone and, and isolated, at least according to what the chart says, right? Now, one of the things we can look at is we count seven houses from moon to get an idea of the emotional aspect. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So this is going to be seven houses from moon and seven from moon is represented by the sixth house. Okay. And the sixth house, that's a, that shows a difficulty within the relationship. There's a narrative and this is all very karmic, by the way, the sixth house can represent things like uh, imbalance. So we got a narrative of imbalance. So, you know, on a personal level, even though we might not see their private relationship, there might be some fundamental personality di difference that's causing this imbalance. The public might not see the sixth house. You know, I know it was alleged that there could have been some cheating or something like that last summer with uh, Prince William. It's allegedly. And so is there any merit to this? Well, uh, the sixth house does represent things like cheating, deception, okay? And it can represent even things like lies, okay? So a lot of times people that do have their first marriage or any marriage that really is, um, you know, seventh, seventh house for moon and it's representative of the sixth house, there's some experience of betrayal or experience of imbalance, difficulty, disagreement, uh, and that's the emotional experience. So Kate being a very private person, you know, she might not ever say anything it to, you know, to the public about this, but definitely the experience can be quite difficult. The other issue I wanted to bring up with this seventh from moon aspect is you'll notice K2 is there. 
in K2 can show a somewhat detached spouse. So in some ways, uh, there could be a feeling of neglect, a feeling of detachment. Uh, you know, maybe she's trying to reach out to, you know, Prince William. And there's this sense of cold detachment is what K2 would represent. Like this void, this emotional void. Maybe she feels like she can't reach reach him on a certain level. And so remember when we're looking at the chart, we're looking at what is she experiencing emotionally? So we're trying to put these emotional tags, you know, I'm trying to bring these emotional tags to your awareness to really understand. So there's this idea of distance, of not quite understanding, not quite fully connecting emotionally when K2 is involved. Okay. There's a little bit of a difference there. And also sun being in the sun being there as well could show somebody that's a little bit self-righteous a, a little bit uh you know maybe they feel like they're always right maybe they feel like uh they're the boss you know so prince william's going to be king so you know there is a di there is some issues there there could be some authority issues within the relationship now on Princess Kate's side, I do want to say one of the difficulties that she may have is if you look at her rising nakshatra, which she's a cancer ascendant, but her rising nakshatra is known as Eslesha, okay? And Eslesha is, the representation is the serpent. So a lot of people that are Eslesha rising nakshatra tend to be a little bit, they tend to be very jealous. They tend to be very controlling people. They like to have things tightly, uh, tightly controlled, especially their family relationships. They want everything in a nice little uh, a box and so forth. So that's some of the difficulty we can see with Eslesha natives is a jealousy element. Sixth house itself also does represent issues with jealousy. So I know if you watch The Crown, some of the uh, other relationships we've seen in The Crown was there was this idea if you marry into the royal family, well, they're going to do what they got to do. And, you know, you just got to suck it up. You know, at least that was presented in The Crown. Now, I don't think that's right on a personal level, but it was presented that sometimes there are some moral indiscretions that take place and and so this would be quite difficult for kate middleton in her chart being you know rising nakshatra of eslesha she's a cancer her moon is in the 12th house shows somebody very emotionally sensitive even very intuitive and psychic in a lot of ways so i do see that this you know there is some substance in the chart that there's a lot of difficulties within the relationship so let me know what you all think down below. Um, I was quite interested to look at the chart just because I had read that recently and I, I wasn't aware of it before. So thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video.